But why delay? Let's hop back into the Butcher's Circus. I've put together another team that I hope will do decently. I've learned a little bit based on the few fights that I've had online, along with talking to Baru a little bit about what works and what doesn't. Uh, this seems like it should be okay. First of all, the Bounty Hunter. I've seen this boy in, like, so many compositions, and with good reason. This ability right here is an excellent way to finish off characters, the finish him, you know, aptly named. So I'm going to try to put this to work, along with giving him trinkets that add further chance to, for him to uh, actually finish the job. On top of him, uh, really kind of relying on targets being afflicted, but I think that will actually happen based on the rest of my build. You'll see here we have a kind of unique addition to things here with the Grave Robber who has Rotting Trophy and Carnival Mask added onto her, so it's plus 35% stress dealt with the Panic Darts, which inflicts 30 stress by default, but with that additional 35%, if I'm doing my math right, should bring it up to 42, which is pretty damn good. That's pretty damn good for a single shot to inflict 40, set, 40 stress on a target, not to mention just the damage and the blight, so I'm hoping that's going to be pretty effective. And then uh, we've got a Rikoltist who could actually buff that further, of course, with his with his stealth move. Our third in line here is the Man-at-Arms, who have seen quite a bit as well. And uh, the Bellow is a skill that I'm probably going to be utilizing a lot more, too. You can see this actually impacts every single enemy, and it uh, inflicts 12 stress. It's pretty good. Debuffs the target for minus 20% damage, too, which is nothing to scoff at. He's got his Rampart skill, which is good for being able to move out of the uh, back line if he has to. I don't know when he'd be knocked into that spot, but just in case. Uh, it's also a stun, in or not a stun, I guess, but it is a daze. In fact, I'm not sure about that one. I think I might change that to like a command or maybe even a retribution. But I do like having the move forward skill. It just seems like something I might be able to take advantage of. And then the uh, bolster, which is probably something I'll be doing at the beginning of every fight. Just adding on dodge to our entire party and then reducing the stress taken. And he's going to be taking a lot less stress damage himself with the numbing incense, but I'm primarily looking at this as our stun resistance to hopefully prevent him from losing his guard if I choose to do so. And then he's just got a little bit extra death blow resistance and some maximum HP. I feel like that's pretty helpful too. And then the occultist. Monkey's paw and the exotic snuff. I'm trying to keep him in that back line. The move resistance, I feel like, is going to be pretty helpful for that. Zotus! Thanks for the 13 months. Welcome back in. Appreciate you. This skill right here, I'm, I'm pretty certain I'm going to be using a lot more often. The Demon's Pull. This uh, ability to uh, pull the backliners forward on top of inflicting stacking stress damage... I'm pretty certain is going to be a, a, a critical component to our success. And on top of that, of course, he's a healer as well. Uh, more importantly than him being a healer, he's, a, he's got the potential to be a really strong healer. People have been making the point that just bringing people off of Death's Door honestly just sort of feels like a waste of a turn because more than likely the enemy is just going to bring them back to Death's Door the next turn and then subsequently inflict more stress on your party as a result. So unless you can heal a substantial amount it's probably not really worth it to do so. And considering that point that I just made, I think I'm actually just gonna give him a silver syringe as well and make this potential a lot stronger. That's gonna bring it up to a uh, possible heal of 30, which obviously is much, much better than that. In fact, it's gonna be a little higher than that. It's like 32, isn't it? So that's great. Yeah, we'll take that. Shitty milkman. Oh, yeah, I know, Robin. I know it's having issues. I'm hoping that we won't run into problems ourselves. Thank you for the five months, Shady. I appreciate that resubscription as well. Thanks for the kind words. See, I think it's... I think it's looking pretty good. I think this, this composition overall feels strong. The Bounty Hunter, of course, has his Come Hither move as well, which I didn't realize marks the target, too. So that's pretty good. But he's, of course, going to be primarily our death blow dealer. I'm going to be looking to him to finish off characters that I can bring to the front line, potentially with the occultist as well. So this looks pretty good to me on paper. But I've said that about basically every composition that I've come up with, so I suppose we just have to jump into the ring. The ringmaster demands a challenger. Morning, Germs and Ada. How you doing? This is a real buffoon lineup. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stress and being able to pull and move their team around and find that piling on stress is underrated by a lot of the people I face off with. Yeah, no one that I've fought so far has really seemed to prioritize stress too much. They seem to just wanted to kill me, which is working well, in their favor. To be fair to them, they are beating me. The Axial! Thanks for the three years. Welcome back into the pile, buddy. Appreciate it. A leper sighting! The rare leper team! The advantage is yours. All right! Canta trips. The contest Let's do it, fella. Welcome to the bear pile. I'm gonna begin with a bolster. Lady of Stain! Thanks to the Twitch Prime, hop on into that pile. You gotta get him the bear hugs, chat. Appreciate that support. Thank you, as always, for the subscriptions. I should note, I failed to mention this last night, but the bear pile is once again 1,000 strong out of nowhere. So thank you very, very much for that. Insane support as of late. I, I truly appreciate it. Really incredible stuff. Brad Wayne! To the bear pile. Festering fear consumes the mind. Five more on top. Thank you very much, Brad, for an additional gift of five subscriptions. We're well above Welcome a thousand. Back. We're actually at like a thousand and sixty of all things. Of all numbers, I know, absurd. A thousand and sixty? You madman bear. Welcome to the bear pile. Absolute madness. All right, so we've got a horror stack on the Vestal. This seems like a good idea. Welcome to the bear pile. To try to pull her forward again. I could also try to knock back the leper. Does he have move resist? He does not. Oh, I could also knock back the flagellant. Welcome to the bear pile. Oh, he's getting so lucky. Jeez, dude. All right, well, I was really trying to disrupt his party composition, but I, I lost both of my rolls on the move chance. Which is unfortunate, because the occultist I'm pretty certain I equipped with a move chance boost trinket. He's gonna go for the stun. Welcome to Does the get it. Pile. So I lose my grave robber's move, and then he's probably just gonna buff his leper. Dexter Dresden! Thanks for that Twitch Prime subscription as well. Appreciate it very much. How many of the 1K do you think Gecker is doing? Probably quite a few. Honestly, probably quite a few. Yo, Advent Zotus! Thank you very much for another thousand bits in Dope Stone Lion. Thank you for the 10 gifted subscriptions. Holy cow, thank you, thank you. Oh my god, you're not gonna believe it. We're at 1,068. Y'all y'all were fucking around saying that we're almost at 1,069. We're actually at 1,068. Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Who's gonna get the magic spot? It's right. It's just sitting there waiting for you to grab it. I really want to try to knock him back again, but I don't want to keep wasting my turns. But he can't do anything if he's in the back. You gotta be kidding me. Oh Welcome man. To the bear pile. Silhouette of Adon! Oh, he, he, he yoinked it from you! Well, well, well. Abracadingdong! To the bear pile. He snuck in there and grabbed it from you, bud. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's a great name, too. Shoot. I'm making a spectacle of all this. I'm missing out on what's actually happening here. But thank you so much again. I really do appreciate all that support. I'm going to go ahead and hit myself with a quick heal. Welcome and that was a waste pile. of a turn, so good work, Bear. Yeah, thank you guys. I'm getting all... Jeez, just so much. Welcome to the bear pile. Thank you for your four months as well. Thank you. Good God. I cannot express enough. But thanks, but 
We've got work to do here. I gotta make Welcome damn sure that this friggin' leper doesn't just obliterate me here. And he did just take his once per battle buff. So that's worth noting. I think it's probably not a bad idea to start doing this. Ooh, there we go. 45 stress with one shot. The Vestal is looking bad. Welcome to the bear pile. Okay, okay. Sodas! Thank you for your five gifted subscriptions as well. The bits and the gifted subs. Thank you, thank you for that support. God, I, I really need to start paying attention to what he's actually doing here. Okay, so I've only got the one bleed. It's not going to quite bring oh, no. me down to death's door. I've still got guard for two more rounds. I think this is worth it again. Come on, pull. There we go. Okay, that's really going to fuck with him now. All I needed was one of those, and that's going to really start to mess with his uh, with his lineup. That feels good. Yo, Lurk, thank you for the bits as well. Appreciate that a lot. Thank you, thank you. Welcome. Hey, Jarl, how you doing? Is there a chat with the enemy possible? No, I don't think you can do any kind of like text or uh, to emote chat pile. with the enemy in this. Maybe there's something like that that they'll add in the future. Oh boy, this could be a problem for our occultist here. Which that AoE attack is going to make things a little bit more difficult for me. So now, unfortunately, I can't knock back the leper anymore, so I think I need to just go ahead and keep the bounty hunter for last, maybe. But we can continue to make problems for the Vestal. And this may even get us... Oh, I hate to see it, man. He is going to get the resolve check on his turn, but it's unfortunate that we didn't get it to trigger from that. But that is pretty good. To take away some control from his Vestal is really going to start causing problems early, and oh, that's huge. That's great for me. All right, let's see. Oh, a Bellow would trigger it. That's not a bad idea. Oh, that's so much damage here. Holy cow, the Blight is getting really bad. Let's go for that. They all resisted the debuff. Good god. Self-preservation is paramount at any cost. All right. I think that was worth it to at least get her afflicted, because now we can deal some serious damage with the bounty hunter and try to take her out, or at least bring her to death's door to get the heart attack to take her out. I probably need to heal. And yeah, there's a waste to turn on his end. Hmm. I feel like I want to try to do the uppercut again on the leper. I really want to. I just want to keep fucking with his composition. Come on, work for me one time. There we go. That's pretty big. Because the leper can only move forward one spot, I think? Maybe I'm misremembering that. Plus, he's dazed, so he won't be able to do anything until the, the end of the next turn, too. Oh, there's a stun on the bounty hunter, though, damn. Okay. All right, we need to start being seriously concerned about our health. Hmm. So when I take his turn, he'll be brought to death's door. I think I need to try to just heal him up. Just take a gamble on that. And then I can reactivate the guard on the... No. On the uh, man at arms next turn. Hold fast or expire. Ooh, ho, 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 there we go. He is back. Big time heal. Well, 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 it would appear that the food is from <laughs> I feel like. I haven't heard that one yet. I feel like they added that one in response to them having to hear that all the time. It certainly would seem the buffoon is flummoxed. <laughs> all right, so this is a problem, obviously. We're going to have to figure out what's going on with him. Yeah, that's not going to... 
But we really need a Plague Doctor to address this damage over time. That is so bad. Let's see. I think I might just have to keep going with some Panic Darts here. So let's start stacking it up on the Leper. Not the Leper, the Plague Doctor. So I think she has less Blight Resistance. Oh no, she didn't take that Trinket, okay. But damn, we're already almost there with that too. Once we get two people in an afflicted state, I'll feel a little bit better. We may lose our man at arms though. Which isn't so bad. It's really not the worst thing that could happen. Man, that damage over time sucks. A hand's breadth from becoming unwound. Hmm. Act now. I guess I could keep bellowing. Leper dodge. No, Plague Doctor dodge, damn. Alright. Yeah, he may just be in dire straits here. I think I have to accept that. She's going to dazzling light him. I'd be shocked if she didn't go for that. Because there's a chance of just killing him outright. She moved the Vestal back. The blood quickens. Just to give him the chop or hue opportunity. He doesn't have... His damage is actually less than normal, but still gets that. Sure, okay. At the very precipice of oblivion. Fair enough. All right, well, I got to keep my bounty hunter alive. So, come on, baby. Nice! That's why we roll the dice with the occultist. The man-at-arms, obviously, is still in bad shape. You know what I'm starting to think is that stress is just too slow, man. I want to try to prioritize stress with these guys, but it really it takes twice as long. Ultimately, that's what it comes down to. It's just it just takes twice as long to kill people that way. And I just get outpaced every time. I think I'm going to try to take advantage of my man at arms last play again. Thankfully, that doesn't do anything right now. Uh, but yeah, let's just keep bellowing. Since that's the best he can do for us at the moment. Another... Another panic dart will trigger the resolve check for the Plague Doctor. Yeah, I've got a relatively durable build, but really not, not enough, it feels like. That's a gamble, dude. Did he get it? He did. He keeps going for these ridiculous gambles. And they're paying off so, so big for him. Let's do... Will that do enough damage to... No, it won't. That seems worth it. To at least keep the leper from doing anything this turn. Flagellant can hit the third spot. Or no, he can't hit the third spot unless he does Reign of Sorrows. Which I'll probably do. I'd do it. Yeah. Sure. Is a tenuous proposition. Why not? Just give it to him on the first roll. Jesus Christ, man. Fight on. The mob rallies to the underdog. It's not at all the fault of the RNG, I don't think, but I do feel the RNG has hurt me quite a bit in my in my attempts. It's been pretty brutal. Injury and despondence set the stage for heroism or cowardice. You know, it may have actually been the better play to put that panic dart on the Vestal there. Man. He went the entire first round without a successful RNG check and he didn't fail one. Yeah. And like it's it's gonna happen, and like when it happens for me, I'll be less likely to notice it, but it just it just it can feel pretty damn impactful sometimes. 
All right, an abyssal artillery feels pretty goddamn good here, and I feel like I just have to kind of try to race him at this point because we're not gonna we're not gonna outheal this shit. The damage over time is too powerful. All right, we landed that. Teetering on the brink, facing the abyss. She's not quite there. Yeah, the panic dart on the Vestal probably would have been the best move. I'm starting to think that now. As life ebbs, I think I can use the bounty hunter's ability on that spot. I can. Okay, so that's good. So she's vulnerable here. Thank you. Okay. We're still in pretty damn bad shape here, considering that flagellant hasn't even been really touched yet. The leopard, too. Like, they're both in great shape, so... Yeah. Not looking good. Could get pretty lucky with him missing death's door chances, though. Now, damage over time no longer procs that store, which is a good change in my opinion. There will be some that argue that it's bad, but I, I disagree. I think it'd be easily abusable. Hell, I'd be dead. Already. Another life wasted. If I'm not, now. All right, so if I hit her with the panic dart, she should just die from that. There we go. It's just not enough, though. Damn. Good lord. More ashes. More disappointment. Alright, well, clearly I don't know what to do. <laughs> I've tried I've tried what I think is good so many times and I'm just getting my ass kicked. I think I need to stop focusing on stress. I think stress has been like what I keep trying to build around for some reason, but it just doesn't work. Haha! <laughs> He can still hit me, he's got a hue. More blood soaks the soil. Yeah. Feeding the evil therein. Yeah, I've just done nothing but lose. The Jesus. And collect the teeth. Will oh you boy. The metal to return? Okay. Well, let's try again. Dude, I want to try this build again, because I don't think it's bad, but it is. It clearly is. It's just... Ugh, stress doesn't work. Stress can work. You have to focus a lot on it. Trust me. I believe you, but I got to try something else just for my own sake. Stress builds are just stressing you out, yeah. So what worked for him there? The leper focus was pretty good. I mean, it, it's no, it's not really what worked for him. It's been the same thing that's been uh, taking me down every time. It's just been people focusing on health damage instead of stress. Like, they didn't focus on stress at all. It was all health damage. Damage over time effects, bleeds from the flagellant, and the Vestal as like a safety measure. And the leper is just hitting the shit out of things. So let's see. I'm gonna unequip everything. I love the flagellant, first of all. I feel like he's so strong. I wanna keep him. I also really like the bounty hunter as a, uh, as a means of controlling the, the enemy lineup. He's just so good. So I really want to keep him, too. So I guess that's our front line, if that's what I'm doing. I can swap an Occultist for a Vestal, I guess, because I can just give the Vestal a direct healing move 
that can get buffed up to guarantee that it heals for like, what would that bring that to? That would bring that to guaranteed 15 to 18, I think. Or even 15 to 19, maybe. So that's probably worth it by itself. Like the gamble we were taking with the occultist doesn't even seem worthwhile when you when you look at it that way. So let's do that. And then she's even got a stun, which she was which the guy that we just played against was utilizing against us, of course. So I think we could do that. And then let's see. I guess illumination. I mean, these two skills really seem like the only thing that matter for her. Which is fine. That's good enough. Basically a guaranteed two-thirds of a weird reconstruction. Right, yeah. Which seems worth it. You can't double stack the healing buff, by the way, unfortunately. What should we give her then? I guess the move resistance is pretty good for her. That seems worthwhile. Where'd that go? Move resist. It was the... I almost remember the name of the trinket, too. Where'd it go? There you are. Exotic snuff. Yep. AoE heal, I guess, does get multiple people off of Death's Door. That's true. Getting people off of Death's Door by itself is not terrific, though. But it is probably better than the Illumination skill, so I guess we'll just do that. All right, good enough. Let's work on the Flagellant skills and trinkets real quick, which is pretty easy and almost positive it's going to be these four. Nuclear Owl! Thanks for the two months, buddy. Appreciate it. Subs for stress. Sounds good, thank you. Appreciate that. So we want to give him, I guess, more bleed chance is probably a pretty good idea. I'd love to give him more death blow resistance too, which I can do with this, although it's not much. 4% might make a difference though. Although, no, hold on, there we go, Onk of Life, that's better. Let's do both, fuck it. Make him impossible to kill. And the bounty hunter's got to take those trinkets that add on to the chance to deal death, or to do the death door blow. But I'm not going to do the second one, actually, that only deals with afflicted targets. So that's just, just feels like a wasted trinket slot now that I'm not focusing that at all. So I think I'll just give him the eagle eye talisman just to make sure he doesn't miss. And now we've got three. Well, that was fast. We made our determinations there pretty quickly, right? And that feels good. But now what's the fourth? Plague Doctor? It's got to be Plague Doctor, right? We've got to have our own means of addressing damage over time, along with a way of applying more ourselves. It's got to be. There's, there's no other choice. Okay. Stress Delta Edition, yeah, that's pretty good. I don't know why the, the other guy didn't take this. Seems good to me. Yeah, plus 50% blight skill chance. Just pretty much guarantees that thing lands. Because not a lot of people have a lot of blight resistance in the first place. Like, who's got the most? Uh, let's see. There it is. Abomination's got the most. Who's playing the fucking Abomination, though? Antiquarian's got a little bit of resistance. Jester's got some resistance. Highwayman's got some resistance. Oh, Grave Robber's got a ton of it. That makes sense. The Vestal's got some, too. Otherwise, most people are vulnerable to it, so yeah, that's that's almost a guaranteed land. This seems good. I could even go with emboldening va vapors to make the bounty hunter really strong, but I don't know. I feel like I'd maybe rather have blinding gas, but I'm not I'm not worried about stress at all. I could do disorienting blast to clear corpses. Oh, and shuffle single could be fun. Hmm. Wait a minute. Is this a guaranteed thing? This is a knockback chance. This is a pull chance. This says shuffle. This says guaranteed shuffle. I'm going to try this. That's interesting. Oh, hang on. Sorry. I'm going to go close that. I'm going to close the origin launcher real quick. All right, there we go. Do, 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 do. I think we're good. Give knife if 1v1. 
I mean, I don't know if I want to dedicate an entire skill to the chance that we have to 1v or 1v1 the enemy with the Plague Doctor. Could happen, I guess, but well, I don't know. I'm screwed if I don't have it in that situation, huh? But I really want to try this, and I don't feel like I want to give up anything else for it. I guess I could get rid of this. I can give her that, and then put the, the Vestal in spot th four. That's actually not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea. Yeah, we could do that. Now, the big issue with this composition is... It is dependent on them staying in the right spots. But that's probably going to be an issue for any composition that doesn't build specifically to avoid that. So I think I'm just going to have to deal with that. Plus, I've got the exotic snuff on my Vestal. So hopefully that'll help too. All right. This feels, this feels good. I've been deceived before, but I want to believe this will work. Demands a challenger. I really do. And I think I might even try this one multiple times. Because this feels pretty, pretty goddamn good. I'm glad the queue times have been like instant, too. It's been great. Hopefully that stays the same way for a bit. I'm not going to go against the tutorials. No, that's not going to help me. Playing the tutorial fight only serves to reinforce my ego. It doesn't actually help me to learn what works. It's too easy. Oh, damn. Okay. I know this can happen. Just hopefully doesn't happen too much. His ego is already massive from yesterday. Exactly. I don't need the boost today. I'm feeling great. I could lose all day today and I'd probably still feel fantastic. I'm feeling that good. I want to play though. I'm really hopefully I'm hoping that this actually works. There we go. Nice. Oh, he thinks he's so cool with his tentacle banner. Mine's cooler because I have the red hook. That means I'm, that means I'm the more experienced player. Yo, the abomination. Oh, shit. In spot three, too. In the melee vestal. Look at this guy. All right. All right. He can't heal from there. So, I'm guessing he's going to be moving shit around, but... Well, no, the bomb has... Oh. Oh, hold on. I thought it disconnected. No, we're good. Yay, cool. All right, what should I even start with? I haven't even really considered that with this composition. I guess I just want to start applying damage over time right away, right? But the Abomination has a bunch of Blight resistance is the problem, so I'm not going to be able to do that with her. I can do some bleed. Let's give that a try. Cool. All right. Good, good, good game. Good game. That was fun. He's got the dodge buff, so yeah. That'll happen, man. Look, I got one too. The damage on the flagellant doesn't matter too much. All right. Let's see. Do I want to? Oh, I could pull forward, I guess, but I feel like that just helps him. Like, what does it matter for him to have his lineup altered at all here? So I'm just going to... Oh, I could stun. That's probably not a bad idea. Let's try that. Go for a stun on you. Ha-ha! There we go. There we go. I don't mind if he mace bashes or something. I gotta figure out what I'm doing really early here, though. Because he's gonna start making things work for him early, too. 
I think I should just go for the Vestal. Maybe I just kick the shit out of the Vestal. That's not a bad idea. We'll just incise her for a good 6 to 11. Actually, let's go ahead and address the bleeds early. Just to not allow that to become a big problem. And then we can hit the Vestal with her. This has been a bad start for me. Not just because I missed, but... Well, the stun's pretty good, I guess. It's just I don't know about that particular move. I suppose the heal there just seemed a little premature. I'm just I'm, I'm a little unsure of what to do in general here, though. Oh, this is a good idea. That's a great idea. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, no, if he hadn't dodged that first attack, he'd be on death's door right now. Okay. Well, let's try to make that a thing. They no longer have the dodge buff, so here you go. Perched at the very precipice of oblivion. All right, so he resisted the bleed. I can't, unfortunately, hit him with... No, 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 I can't hit him with finish him, right? Because collect bounty is only in the front two, but I think finish him is in the third slot, right? Oh, he was forced to heal. Okay, that's good for me. Let's see. I should go for another stun, maybe. I'd love to do damage over time with the play, Doctor. She's stunned, though, unfortunately. I could stun his Vestal. Not a bad idea. There we go. Okay. This feels pretty even so far. I feel like I've got an advantage, actually. I, I put his abomination on death's door already. We just need to start getting our uh, damage over time stacks on those guys. Unfortunately, the abomination is one of the very few who is resistant to that. He's going to go for the mark on the Vestal. Okay. Huh. We'll tell you what. I get bonus damage on the, on the stun target again. Let's go for that. There we go, dude. Tons of damage coming out from the Bounty Hunter already. We've had we've seen a lot of success from the stun so far today, specifically Almighty. But that's also, yeah, it's a really good point. The fact that monsters have more dodge than the heroes do. Like, these guys only have a base level dodge. Of, or no, no, not, not, not dodge, sorry, not dodge, uh, stun resistance. All right, we're dealing with stun resistance for that. And they have less tip typically have less stun resistance than most of the monsters you see. Of course, he's got the 50% buff right now, but typically he's at 25. I think I'll go for the bleed again. That really just seems like a good way to start. Oh, I can play my Exsanguinate here, actually. Shit. Let's do that. Because that'll be a big bleed on her. The plants. Oh my god! The 44 crit heal. Woo! Okay. That's good. That's helpful. So he has to heal with the Vestal. And he has Divine Comfort, right? No, he doesn't. He can't heal with her. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay. Let's go for another stun. That seems like it's working really goddamn well. Give it to me. No? All right. That's fair. Controversial non-healer Vestal. Yeah, this is an interesting look for sure. All right. We had to expect that eventually. He does land the stun on the plate, Doctor. Okay. Okay. I want to force him to take his Vestal's turn, but I can't do that. So... I could bring the Abomination down to death's door again. That seems like a good idea. I could also knock back this... Oh my god, why haven't I done this? That's a good idea. Oh, 
coming on wild. He ain't got no lance. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. This is looking good. Okay. Okay, gotta be a little concerned about that. Hmm. Well. Say goodbye to your Vestal. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. We got numbers. We're winning. Oh my god. Alright, he's finally done it. Festering fear consumes the mind. He's finally done it. Let's see. You know what? I think just a big fat heal from my Vestal might be enough. So I don't think I need to do a battlefield medicine. I think it's time to start stacking our play grenades on the back line. Let's do it. I'm not going to deal any damage to that Crusader with all that protection on him, but we can certainly deal damage over time. And that Crusader is completely fucked back there too still, so that's great. That was a crit on the Vestal, wasn't it? Lots of stress there, too, yeah. Okay. Now, here's the thing. We could get extremely greedy, go for the Judgment, to try to bring him down to Death's Door on his next turn, which is very good, but not a smart idea, I don't think. Not right now. Especially because we can remove Horror that way, which is actually helpful here. Yeah, greed didn't feel like the way to go there. Now he's just forced basically to move forward here with this Crusader. Which, we may just punch him in the face again, actually. That'll be a tempting offer. This is probably the way to go here. That bleed's gonna bring him down. So if he uses his Abomination first... Or not... Oh! Ooh, we may actually be able to force him to use his Abomination before I use my Bounty Hunter. I think I can. And that's not helping him that much. Injury and despondence set the stage for heroism or cowardice. Let's see. Now I could probably get greedy, but I'll be back on Death's Door with her, of course. I should probably just heal her again, yeah. Teetering on the brink. I should have I should have given this more thought, I think. I think I should have thought. <laughs> I probably should have. Yeah, that's the thing, is no one could have hit her until the next town master attack, so I could have probably just gotten away with something different there. Well, let's see. I Wherefore, heroism. If I use Battlefield Medicine here, yeah, that'll do it, right? Yeah, that's gonna do it. Okay, we're good. We're fine. You think, therefore, you thought. Yeah, this should work out, because he's forced to use a bomb here. And, now the true and unless he transforms down an Absolutions, fast. which he can do, Focus right? Fire. Yeah, he can do that. Or no, can you use Absolution in the front? I don't think you can. As life ebbs, terrible vistas of emptiness reveal themselves. Can you? Okay. Now, can I do finish him from here? I sure can. Say goodbye. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. All right. Very good. And now, looks to me like I should probably go ahead and play Reign of Sorrows on here. The ground quakes. Corpse crit! Panda watch! All right, well, you might kill my bounty hunter, but that's not too bad. Honestly, the odds are in my favor that he doesn't do it. Oh, really? Okay. That was an interesting call. Huh. 
I'm just gonna heal. But that's cool. Yep. Just gonna heal up. Oh yeah, no, huge advantage here. This is the best I've felt about any fight so far, easily. He's known for a stress play now from this Crusader. He's trying to get a heart attack going on my Flagellant. Am I below 40%? 40% of 44 would be... 17.6, uh, which is 18. And that's what I'm at. But apparently, not quite there. That's annoying. Fuck. Uh, well, I'll just do it. Uh... Oh, wait, now I'll be there. Okay, great. Yeah, after the bleed. Perfect. See ya. Ah, oh, he resisted the bleed, damn. Big heal, though. That's good. Alright, so, unfortunately, he's not quite there. Can I hit him with anything? Oh, I can do this. I didn't do this a single time. Fuck. I wanted to. Ah, oh, man. I think I'm just gonna do... Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. Okay. This works because it'll it'll get the Crusader in the back and it'll take him or take his turn away. And then the bleed will be enough to bring him down to death. I mean, I guess I might as well do this. No, I can move her back. Yeah, let's do that. That's that's smarter. Then we've got our extra heal available if I need it. Just trying to optimize. Crusader has high bleed resist. He does, doesn't he? Yeah, look at that. Very high. Master is extremely vulnerable to it. Huh. I mean, it would probably make sense to get rid of the Crusader first, but I just feel like I ought to prioritize who is obviously the most vulnerable candidate for death right now. I might do that group heal here. Probably a stun is better, though. I can imagine that helps me more. Just completely keep him from doing anything. Alright, so his next turn... He'll be brought to death's door. And won't actually be able to act. So he's pretty much dead. Is there any way that I can bring him to Death's Door this turn? I doubt it. I completely doubt it, but... I'll do my best. You know what? Fuck it. Let's try this. Let's do it one time. Oh, yeah. It's going to clear the corpses. I'm dumb. All right. They're both dazed. Oh, no. He's dazed. He's stunned. Okay. So he has to act first, which works for me, I guess. Oh, now we can get some extra damage on these guys, too. Okay. So that's pretty cool. We've obviously got the tremendous advantage here. Resist the bleed again, as expected, I suppose. All right, the restore. That's a big restore, my god. Well, I guess we're going Crusader first, it looks like. <laughs> so if I do the punish here, is that going to be enough damage? Probably not. The incision might be. Decision might be more likely to get it, actually. But I can use both of them before he gets to do anything anyway. Oh, no, 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 I can't. I'm stupid. Whatever. Whatever. Thankfully, I'm in a position where my stupidity doesn't matter anymore. More or less guaranteed the victory here. Guaranteed the victory. So if you could just deal five damage with this skill. Cool, dude! <laughs> ah. Just a quick hit. Just a quick hit. Thanks. Thank you. And then let me do this. Goodbye. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. All right, man. We're doing it. Didn't lose a single character. 
The maniacal cheering swells. So far, don't let me get overconfident. Since he did just crit us. He'll probably trigger a string of resolve checks soon. So, how do we kill this boy? We just hit him with everything, I guess. A stun would certainly be helpful. Do I want a battlefield medicine? I don't think it matters. Yeah, finish him was critical here. Clearly, finish him is extremely good. All right, well, here comes a heart attack. <laughs> Fear and frailty finally claim their due. Oh, boy. Hang on. All right, you're going to go for a judgment. There we go. There we go. He's done it. I applaud this man for sticking this out to the end, by the way. Frustration and fury. He could have conceded, but he chose to ride or die. Salute just orc. As the fiend falls, Honor, my friend. A faint hope blossoms. He's done it! Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzy fall. What is that achievement? Win? Win a game? A cacophony of bloodthirsty delight. Oh Slowly. shit, that's pretty badass. Have a single hero deal death Every blows to four enemies in a single game. Cool. Alright, man. Victory! The ringmaster is pleased. MVP, baby. You did that with your highwayman? Nice. A little bit of riposte action going on. Alright, let's roll that again, dude. I'm, li I'm liking this composition. Does the bounty hunter have plus 100% death blow chance with those trinkets and finish him? He's a stone cold killer. I don't think it's 100. We can look at the numbers again, but I don't I don't think it's like a guaranteed thing. Certainly would seem that way based on that past game, wouldn't it? But Yeah, it's real high for sure, whatever it ends up being. Hashtag doing with an ellipsis. Kind of a mysterious whatever it is that he's doing, it's weird. Oh. Hashtag doing SFM commissions. Do I want to know what that is? Oh, source filmmaker. Okay, yeah, that's that's harmless. <laughs> the instant mark. Okay, interesting. Let's see here. Who's vulnerable in his lineup? I'll probably go for the occultist. And we can stack blight on these two back liners pretty easily so let's, let's let's go with that killing his healer is probably a good idea he doesn't have any damage over time uh, resistance either so I'll start with a rain of or uh, yeah rain of sorrows and, fucking Christ maybe I'll heal actually holy hell God, dude. <laughs> Fucking Christ. That is crazy. So he can hit her with the occultist still, which means... Oh, hold on. What, what skills does he have? I should pull... I should pull the musketeer forward. Because she's all back line. But I need to heal the Vestal, obviously, right now. Plus, I can get rid of that horror with the with her skill, so that's good. Alright. Brought a book to a gunfight. <laughs> Abyssal artillery is extremely good. Yeah, that's part of the reason why I'm targeting him first. Is that a blight and bleed clear? No, it's not. I think that just clears debuffs. Alright. Come hither! Ah, damn it. That sucks. I still think I did the right things early on here, though. Really, all he's managed to do is some damage to the Vestal overall. You know, like he added a little bit of horror to the Plague Dogger. That doesn't really matter that much, though. He'll probably go for the rush. Yep. 
which unfortunately brought her to death's door again. I think I'll just battlefield medicine. No, that's just gonna bring it down again. Man, that's tough. Hmm. Yeah, he's just going straight for that Vestal, man. I wonder if I can just deal with that. I wonder if I can just lose her. Or just take a chance on losing her. I'm going to try it. I'm going to risk it. Take a, take a single chance right now on losing her. That's all I mean to say, really. Because I'm going to heal her after this turn. But I want to try to take this one gamble. Fine, I got paid for it. All right. He got paid for it. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Fuck everybody. That's what I'm trying to say. Everybody can suck my dick. You want to you wanna clip this? That's what you get to clip. Everybody suck my dick. All right, hold on. I got to go. All right. That was the equivalent of you want to stand on 12, sir. No, it wasn't. I had good odds. That was the equivalent of dealer has, dealer showing six, you have 18. Would you like to stand? Yes, I would. Oh, I'm sorry. Dealer had 20. Oops, you fucking moron. What did you do that for? You sure look stupid. Something, something, nothing can shake my ego today. D does my ego seem shaken to you? I just told the entirety of hundreds of people to suck my dick. Suck my big old dick, hundreds of you. Oh yeah, my ego seems real hurt. He's not looking good. Calm down, Bear, this is just a game. When you type that out and read it to yourself and then hit the enter button, did that seem like an intelligent sentence? Especially because you mistyped Bear. Ouch. A renewal. Let's try to bring her to death's door, actually. It's just a game is such a weak mindset. Shut up. <laughs> if you don't get mad at it, you've lost twice. If you don't tell your entire chat to suck your dick after making a mistake, you've already failed. <laughs> a renewal. Welcome back. Takaslav. Thanks for the seven months. Thanks for the resubscriptions. Thank, for, thank you for the support amidst the abuse. That's really what it's all about, right? Oh, is it my turn? Oops. My bad. I thought I was going to be able to prioritize that, or uh, to preserve that bounty hunter move. I believe this is called Stockholm. <laughs> yeah. Perched at the very precipice of oblivion. Well, I mean, he's not in great shape either right now. All things considered. Well, never mind. He's fine. You have returned. <laughs> God damn it! All right. Well, let me get at least one. Finish him! As the enemy crumbles. Xmas J! Thanks for the 15 months. Yeah, no, he just handed me that musketeer. Plus, there's a ton of damage over time on that occultist still. Alright. 
quickly the tide turns. All right, all right. I can deal with that. Yeah, no, he's hurting still. I think I might even stack one more. I don't know. What's the best move here? I think I might want to just stack more bleed on the Hound Master, but I don't want to give up her move, but she'll be fine. Let's go for him next. I don't think I need to shuffle the Crusader. He's honestly not that threatening. He's going for zealous accusations, which don't matter that much for me. That's, that's too slow to be impactful here. Definitely prioritizing that Plague Doctor now. But I still, I don't have to fix this yet. Ooh, a shuffle might work out, and then I could clear a corpse. Let's do that, let's try it out. Nice, that was ideal. Holy shit, that was good, wow. Fear and frailty finally claim their due. Oh, that's him, all right, dog. Hmm. Okay. How do I get this Houndmaster to zero before the Bounty Hunter turn? That's the only question I have in my mind right now. I gotta try to go last with Plague Doctor, I think. I guess I just do this again. Why don't any of these players use Holy Lance on Crusader? That's what I'm wondering, man. Like, why do you really need that stress heal move? What is what is this doing for you? You going for that virtue chance buff? How many Crusader turns do you have to just throw away on an inspiring cry? Injury and despondence set the stage for heroism or cowardice. So he's probably waiting for the Hound Master. Well, no, I guess he doesn't have a lot of choice in who he's waiting for right now, but I don't know. I guess I, I kind of feel like I got to do this right now. I got to help myself out a little bit. Thankfully, the days actually forced him to... Oh, he doesn't have the... Oh, no, he does have the self heal. Okay, he's got, he's got, he's got like, wounds. What the heck? Did he do that, or was that a trigger from the... No, did he do that? Why? As the fiend falls, the oh, the heal, you can't use it in position one. Okay, so that was desperation, but even still, that was like... You might as well use a last attack if you know he's gonna die. That's still just like, that's a complete throwaway. Yeah. I didn't realize he couldn't heal from there, though. Oh, we pulled this back a little bit, didn't we? I <laughs> know, sad Daco is always so terrible. I hate having to see it, man. The walls close in. The shadows whisper of conspiracy. Bounty Hunter definitely seems strong, yeah. For sure. So, let's see. The only way that he can try to deal a death blow is with the stab from the occultist. Which he can obviously do, so I think I, I still am just kind of forced to do this. Just to prevent the possibility. Because clearly gambling on it wasn't a good idea! <laughs> now. Hmm. Reign of Sorrows. I want to go for the Occultist first, I guess, but no, actually, let's try to get the Crusader first. That's probably not a bad idea. Oh, I got to keep in mind, though, I'm not, not going to have an easy time bleeding him. That's going to be tough. Yeah, maybe I should have just done Reign of Sorrows. It's, I don't know, like Sanguinate still felt good there, though. You gotta use your exsanguinate when you got it. Brings my bounty hunter to death's door. Okay. Well, that's certainly scary. That certainly sucks. Hmm. The reveling 
throne demands its portion. What do I do here? I guess I just try to get this guy killed. Because <laughs> the uppercut, like... I don't think that's as effective as bringing the occultist to death's door right now. He does get the chance to kill the plague doctor here, unfortunately. He might go for the... Yeah, he's going to go for the bounty hunter. I'd do the same. Because I'm about to do this, bitch. Oops. You should have aimed for the head. Press disadvantage. Give them no quarter. Oh boy! Oh Mortality. man! Ooh, I'd be a little, I'd be a little peeved at that one. I'd be a little upset about that one. All right, we're looking good now. We are looking really, really good. I mean, we got an abomination basically still at full strength here. This is fantastic. Abomination got flagellant. I'm sorry, Jesus Christ, Barry! You don't know anything about this game. Hey, Matt. Thanks for the host again. Appreciate it. A fellow flummoxer. A flummoxed buffoon am I. You would think it based off my record online so far. No hope at all. I have been struggling, but this composition seems a little better. All right. So here's the thing. He can't even actually target the Plague Doctor. So as long as we keep our bounty hunter off death's door, I think we're fine. A renewal. Welcome back. Dance number. Thank you for the five months. Welcome back. We can even heal if we want to, but I'm pretty sure I'm better off just going for the kill. Thank you for the resub. Thank you for all the support today. Bear hugs as well if you got them. Of course, always love to see it. Appreciate all the support. This one's, this one's pretty much in the bag. Not a lot he can do with a solo crusader. He hit his stress checks. At least he got that. Maybe we'll have an endless series of bark triggers that result in a heart attack chain reaction. I shouldn't have said it out loud because now it's gonna happen. I know it can't, but it just I just felt like the powers that be wanted to do something dastardly there. Finish him! Oh shit, is that a win streak? A trifling victory. But a victory nonetheless. Is that a win streak for your boy B Company of bloodthirsty delight. Praise now, well earned. Now be now be real with me, chat. Your trophies mount and word travels. Let it not precede collapse. By a show of bear yays and bear nays or your global emote equivalent. When I started yelling at all y'all to suck my dick, what would you did you think I was gonna win the game? Give me a, a yay or nay. Did you think I was gonna win at that point? It's about an even split. A lot more confidence in it than I expected. Alright, fair enough, fair enough. You still believed. Appreciate that. Other player wasn't that good. It felt okay. So it wasn't. It wasn't confidence in me. It was. <laughs> it was an. It was an expectation of failure on the other side. Understood. Thank you. That makes sense. <laughs> you still suck, Bear. Thanks. <laughs> Might be worth you checking, checking out Musketeer skills. I suspect aim shot has plus death blow. Well, that'd just be the same as the Arbalist, right? But uh, I don't know if I need that. It feels like the Bounty Hunter as an Executioner is pretty goddamn good. The fact that Finish Him can hit three slots is nuts. You know? Like, I, I actually thought it could only hit the front two for a bit, but it's not tough to get someone into the third spot, usually. Nothing else. That's an interesting banner. I guess fitting of the name. And 
another bounty hunter. All right, this is a very familiar composition here, huh? Almost a mirror match. He swapped the Flagellant for a Hellion, which is probably quite a bit more damage now that I think about it. Yeah, that might be a problem, but for us, our priority is very clear. I'm gonna hit that, or I'm gonna start hitting that back line and start maybe trying to kill that Vestal. Ooh, crit early is gonna be fine. Tons of damage over time right away. That's gonna be five rounds, right? Or no, four rounds. Four rounds of blight. I'm expecting the uh, the same in kind. Yep. <laughs> Fair enough. Tit for tat. Not a lot of bleed resistance over there. So naturally, they both didn't get didn't get bled. Just, just of course, of course not. Okay, interesting. Is this a stress build? He put caltrips on his bounty hunter. That's not a bad idea. Maybe I'll start doing that. This is actually, oh my god, 33 rounds? I didn't realize it was that much. What the hell? That's wild. Good thing I have battlefield medicine. That's crazy, man. Let's give this a try. Nice. Very long, very small bleed. Yeah, Battlefield Medicine is a pretty hard counter to that, though. I'm going to pop that on the Plague Doctor uh, probably at the end of the next round. Okay. Wow. I think that's a one-time use skill. No, it's not. It just dazes her. But damn, that's 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 pretty brutal. I like uppercut. Very good. Okay, so now unfortunately this is uh, going to be a big priority shift for me. I need to start dealing with the issues he's presented here. Um, I don't have to heal yet. This seems wise. In fact, I'm going to actually do this. Very rare instance in which I feel that might be warranted. To try to address the possibility of him trying to kill the bounty hunter early on. <laughs> I really like that one now. Given the circumstances of things on day one. And I'm very glad he did that. That is fantastic for me. Say goodbye to that. No more DOT for you. We'll expect another attack on the Bounty Hunter, at which point we'll hit him with a big heal from the Vestal, and then he'll be the last to act, and we'll probably attack the Hellion, since he is, or since she's dazed. That makes sense. Oh, on the Plague Doctor, maybe. Nah, he's gonna go for the Bounty Hunter, yeah. Oh, don't do- what are you doing, dude? What the hell is that? No! Wrong! I won't often just directly criticize a move by my opponent, but that is objectively bad. That is incorrect. Holy cow. And we still get our finish him on the Hellion here. Has <laughs> that move gotten you flummoxed there? Win first, criticize later. Fair enough. It's still early. I'm just saying, man. That is just... That is not what you do with that character right there. Anxiety Prime! Thanks for the 17 months. I don't know about this guy. He doesn't seem like he knows what he's doing. Precision and power. 
He didn't seem very good. I don't want to say too much, man. I know, it's still early, but... Ugh, these moves. A little... A little... Tug the shirt away from the neck... Ish. I don't know how to describe that. <laughs> Nor do I have a camera on me to actually provide the visual. Which would certainly be helpful in this moment. I wonder how many opponents thought the same of you. That's fair, too. Alright, well now, here's the thing. I really start to wonder if I can just kill this Hellion. But he'll probably just heal if I try to do that. So I think applying more damage over time is better. Oh, and that Vestal's in trouble. That Vestal's in trouble. A little Han under the collar. There you go. That's a good way to do it. But I hate that word loud. Word cringe. Word cringe makes me cringe. All right. He's got his own counter to the DOT. I appreciate it. Probably time for me to just try to knock her into death's door territory. It kind of forces his hand. I could go for a stun, too. Actually, it's not a bad idea. Let's do that. Take away his heal opportunity? Oh, this is crazy good for me. If I can actually get a punish to bring her to death's door now, I could actually kill the Hellion. This restore ended up being really good for me here, too. This is a really good idea. I also just realized how strong that is. I should probably get rid of it. Mortality clarified in a single strike. Okay. Yeah, now that's a problem for sure. Breakthrough can kill her, actually. Oh, that's bad. Hmm. One, two, Welcome three, fall with me. Thanks very much for the subscription. Appreciate that, friend. Good God. That's because of the... Oh, fuck. Almost ran out of time there. Jesus Christ. So I can still kill the Hellion, thankfully, before he actually gets to use her. Press disadvantage. Give them no quarter. So that just saved me there. Yeah, I guess I'm good. Just kidding. <laughs> he gets to go first. That makes sense. All right, fair enough. Well, I got to deal with the bleed now, unfortunately. I should probably start healing him then. Pescadoos! The, the Hellion Killer claimed another Hellion. <laughs> you were just waiting for that. Thank you. Well, well, well. Would appear that the Would appear the buffoon is flamoxed! Well, that bleed's gotten a little better, at least. Back down to just the normal stuff. Ooh, a pole might be good here. No, she's got, she's got the melee skills. I can pull the Plague Doctor. Eh, I don't think it's even worth it. Knockback? No. Yeah, it doesn't help at all. I guess I just go for damage. Which is fine. Just try to kill the Vestal. Rain of Sorrows back there is pretty damn good, too. It forces a heal. I'm still in pretty good shape. We both lost a character, but that's not too bad. Plus, a constant bleed on my flagellate might actually help me. Might be more beneficial than anything. Alright, so I think I go first now, right? Did no priority passed, I guess. Because I killed his character first. That's fair. Okay, if he doesn't heal here, I'd be shocked. That's that's a gamble, dude. That is a risk. It's a big fucking risk. 
Looks like he's trying to stack DOT on the best now that he knows I don't have a uh, Plague Doctor anymore. Yeah, I'm thinking that too, actually, because you're all I'm probably going to go ahead and swap out Collect Bounty for Caltrips now. Now that I've seen it work against me, it's pretty effective. Uh, let's go with just a Reign of Sorrows again, I think, and try to keep the Vestal heal for, heal for the end. Ooh, nice. That's fair, Ken. No, I know it's not going to be for everybody. Glad folks are enjoying watching it, though. Reeling, gasping, taken over the edge into madness. Yeah, that makes sense, Brian. That's probably what I'll end up doing. Because I don't ever use Collect Bounty. Like, I never... I don't think I've used it once in the last three fights. It's all about finishing with this. He's in, he's in a little bit of desperation mode now. You can see it. I still got troubles of my own with this Blight, but I'm not in nearly as bad a shape as him. And I think I can just keep hitting the Vestal with the Bounty Hunter. That's probably fine. In fact, I might start hitting the Bounty Hunter with the Bounty Hunter. And let's use a Collect Bounty just to make what I said a moot point. No, actually, it doesn't... No, this is the 2% crit adjustment, which I suppose is worth it. Collect bounty on the bounty hunter. Love it. Just had to do it. Had to do it once. So what does he do now? Almost certainly play a grenade again. He's, he chose bounty hunter first, though, and he's going to attack my flagellant and give me an exsanguinate? What are you doing? Are you going to do that again? No, certainly not, right? The buffoon is certainly flummoxed. Okay. He just wanted to, to tit for tat again. That's fair. You know what? Heal up. Everybody heal up. I shouldn't have healed up. I should have healed her instead of everybody. Because I, I didn't want him to heal. But it might actually still be good. Because I'd rather Reign of Sorrows than Exsanguinate right now anyway. Oh, that's huge for me. Refuses the heal. Dracogrissa! Thanks for the 16 months on the pile. Welcome on back in. Oh my god, that is that is big time. Big time. Very determined to keep stacking this blight. Which I can't fault him much for. It's probably one of the more effective things he could do right now. I feel strongly I should continue to do this, so I'm going to do that. Especially because she didn't get uh, she didn't get rid of the bleed before, and we get a resolve check off that as well. Those who covered injury find it in no short supply. Besides the blight on the vestal, we're in extremely good shape right now, and I'll probably go ahead and keep just trading blows with the bounty hunter up front. We got complexity and intrigue going on in the back line here, but the front line thugs are just beating the fuck out of each other. Ha <laughs> 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 All right. Uh... Hmm. There's a mark. It's a tasty mark right there, isn't it? Oh, I can't hit her. Fuck. I could if I uppercut it, but that mark's going to go away after a round, so it's not worth it. Oh, God. A nominal pittance from the raving masses. Desk news. I'm counting on it. All right. We missed, but next one's going to crit just because you did that for sure. I think I need to just solo heal the Vestal this turn. Pretty much regardless of what he does. Ooh, all right. Fair enough. Yeah, just a direct counter on that blight, I guess. Pretty much all I can do. <laughs> all right, finally got the heal out. They're all in collective, or uh, they're all in finish him range now. I like the idea of going for a stun here. And 
Nice. Nice. Alright. Don't have too much to worry about now. And if he attacks the Flagellant, if I get extremely lucky and he attacks the Flagellant, he's not going to do that. But... Okay. As life ebbs, terrible vistas of emptiness. Oh, I can punish and then kill the Plague Doctor. I've got this. Yeah, no problem. Oh, no. He can only hit the... Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, well. All right, well, she will be on death's door at least, so. Oh, no, that was perfect. Right, yeah, no, that works. Great, I did it. I'm a genius. Completely planned from the beginning. From the from the moment I stunned that Vestal, I knew exactly what I was doing. Obviously. Although he's going to do the exact same thing to my Vestal coming up here, so it's going to be a, the, the literally the same trade-off as last time. <laughs> Now, here's the thing, though. This position, be real. Who's got the advantage? I, th I think we know. I, th I think we know who's in the, be the better spot right now. He has to battlefield medicine. He doesn't have a choice. Unless he wants to lose the Plague Doctor. Agrabowski! Three months on the pile. Thank you very much. Welcome on back in. Bear hugs if you got them. Appreciate it. Flagellant's the raid boss. Yeah, exactly. Darkest Dungeon 2 stream win next week. I'm just going to decide to release it next week, and I'm going to play it then. Get hype. A generous bestow. Yo! Ken! Thanks for the $5 tip. Appreciate that. Glad to hear the series has been to your liking. Appreciate that, too. I guess I just bring the Plague Doctor to Death's Door again, right? That seems fine. A hand's breadth from becoming unwound. That's the way to go. And then he has to use Plague Doctor first again next turn, and then I can use just use my Flagellant first next turn to set up the guaranteed kill. So we're good. This is pretty much a GG. I don't even need to bring him to position one. That just seems like a waste of a turn. I just Reign of Sorrows, and that gets it down. Oh, that's not guaranteed, though. Shit. It's a 50-50. Of course I failed it. Why the fuck would I succeed at that? Why would I ever succeed at that? Still, though, he's, he's, looking, in, he's looking like he's in bad shape. Yeah, I was just sitting on that game for years until one person in chat just asked me when I wanted to put it out, so... Finally, that's been dealt with. Fuck it. Just make things a little easier, I guess. The dazed actually helps out a little, too. Or wait, no, it doesn't really, but... Whatever, now at least I can make sure that I put him on death's door with the punish. Oh, right, yeah, no, he can't use Battlefield Medicine from this spot. Never mind, that's that's clearly what I should have done, then, if I had been paying attention. So now he's, yep, yeah, that's, that's what you do. Is you just miss your attack real quick. Okay, see you later, friend. Did your best. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. There we go. Finish him. The maniacal Kirin. Victory is at hand. So now that's probably going to be a dead bounty hunter for me, which means it's Flagellant versus Bounty Hunter, which might actually go his way. Wait, do I get into, do I get an action first, or does he just get to use the Bounty Hunter next? Because I guess if I can do this, then I can save him. You think I think he'll move. He's first, he'll kill you next. Okay, so this doesn't matter, so I should just do this. And it doesn't matter what I do if, if that's the case. It's unfortunate that I put him in the back now because I've actually kind of hindered myself for the next two rounds. Yeah, nothing I can do there. More blood soaks the soil, feeding the evil therein. 
Yeah, I can't exsanguinate with this in this position, dude. What's his bleed resistance? Not that good. Yeah, I might be in a bad way because of that specific thing. Oh, no, we're good. We got it. All right, now it's almost impossible for him to win. One must fall. We got two uses of that left. He's got a massive bleed now. He doesn't have any heals left. Oh no, I'm dazed. Honestly, this flagellant might be able to handle like two people on his own. And now the true test. Hold fast or expire. At full health, this 1v1 I think goes his way nine times out of ten. I wonder if Exsanguinate has an additional death's door chance. Probably not. Better just save it. Yeah, the heal debuff sucks. So I'll get less healing next time I use it. But he doesn't have me on death's door yet. So now I use my Exsanguinate. Perched at the very precipice of which is unfortunately debuffed, but there's nothing I can do about that. A singular strike. Okay. So he'll get me on death's door again, but I got him to 55% against my 95%, so my odds are extremely high. DOTs don't kill in this game mode, no. Okay, he got exact damage for Death's Door. I guess my bleed would have brought me there anyway. All right, come on. There we go. Good stuff. All right, that was a close game. That was a good one. I felt like I was winning the entire time, so a little closer than I would have liked, I suppose. But glad we got it anyway. Bloodthirsty delight. Praise well earned. Very good. Very good. Trinkets and trophies are yours to claim. Jester damage buff. Ah, more accuracy for the finale. Okay. Cool. Cool. Musketeer is supposedly different than the Arbalist, so you might want to peep that. Really? Is that different? That looks the same. I'm pretty sure it's just a reskin. Hi, babe. How are you doing? Good morning. Trinket difference, perhaps? Different debuffs and heal. Healing received. Oh, the bandage cures bleed and this buffs healing received. Okay. Rallying is different, too. Ranging shot. Illuminating flare. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, some slight changes, I guess. Yeah. I like the build we've got right now, though. I like, I like that I'm winning. <laughs> I really want to stick with the one that I'm winning games with for at least a little bit. I mean, we're on a streak still, right? Is that... That's the third game in a, in a row we won, isn't it? So shit, that feels pretty good. I'm enjoying that. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, meh, Brian. Yeah, I don't know. The rabble thrills to I saw your, I saw your message, though. <laughs> Oh, I did forget to switch Collect Bounty, too. Sorry, yeah, I got distracted from another conversation. Ooh, Jester again. No heals. Wow, that's a risk. All right, so this guy clearly is going for just, like, quick kills, it looks like. Ooh, boy. Okay. Well, let's try to kill this Jester. I wonder if shuffling his party would fuck him up. Probably, wouldn't it? Yeah. Let's try this. 
Shuffle is Crusader. Oh, wait, no, I have to do the back line on that. That works. Oh, fucking hell, come on. <laughs> God damn it. Thought Shuffle would be a little bit more effective than that. I think Shuffle actually may just imply that it only moves one space. Shuffles for one, yeah. Yeah, that was a waste of my start. This is a shuffle party. Yeah, that might just play into his favor. So yeah, that was probably a bit of a waste. All right, well, now I know. I'm going to start with a little Reign of Sorrows. The bleed resistance isn't too high on these guys. Plus, that riposte actually helps me because I can exsanguinate earlier on the Hellion. We may even be able to, like, start Welcome focusing her depending on how it Welcome goes. Back. Destic! Thanks for the seven months. Welcome on back into the pile, buddy. And the highwaymen that I've... Like, the highwaymen I've seen almost always have been repost. Welcome to the... Can VDS... Or, sorry, Can VDSR! Can thank you for the tip and now for the subscription as well. Appreciate that, buddy. Thank you, thank you for all the support. Hmm... Let's try this. This has been a not great start for me. But I will be able to deal some extra damage to the Hellion here with our Bounty Hunter hit. Maybe I'll just be able to, like I said, just prioritize her right away. Yeah, no, and I, and I remember Finale, too, but he does have to be in the front position for him to be able to do that, which now he is, of course. So we have to exsanguinate first now to prevent him from being able to just get a kill outright. Oh, shit, there we go. No problem. So that's going to be... Hmm. If she goes last actually kind of complicates matters for me. Probably makes it so I'm not really able to set up. Oh, no, 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 hold on. Ooh, he's got a Holy Lance. Ooh, that Hellion is screwed. Hold on a second. His formation is fucked up right now. And he can't finale worth a damn because that thing's not buffed at all. If he tries to finale right now, it's not going to get a kill. I could also heal again. Hmm. Oh, hold on. No, yeah. Finale does get buffed from solo. That's right. I should just go ahead and do this, actually. I'm going to take a little damage from this. But it's okay. Ah! Fuck! I clicked the damn thing the moment after it said pass. I swear to God I did. That sucks. Honestly, maybe that saves me from the damage I would have taken on the Plague Doctor. Is he going to do an honorable pass back? No. <laughs> oh, shit. Wow. Jesus, dude. Okay. Hmm. I think I might do this. A decisive pummeling. And try to kill him. What's he gonna do here? Duelist Advance can hit the third spot. Pistol shot as well. That's actually fine for me, because I'll just heal her anyway. I was gonna do the same thing no matter what. That was a great heal. All right. Do I have first action? Or does he? I think he does. No, I do. So I'm fine. I think I get to kill the Jester here. Nice. 
continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Okay, that's really good. Let's see. That takes away most of his threats. His biggest threat, at least. Let's see. I really want to play a grenade again, but that's clearly not a great idea. I could judgment, I guess, to get her to death's door. Sure. That works. Teetering on the brink, facing the abyss. And I really just want to like, man, I really wish both of my skills that hit the back line weren't AOE, because that's really fucking with me right now. Maybe that's something he built against. But I can very safely Reign of Sorrows the back line and not worry about the repost. That'll probably be what I end up doing. Hopefully that's not Death's Door. It is. Okay. And now the true test. Hold fast. Can she break through from back there? She can. Okay. Shit. I think I just heal her. Now they'll both be on death's door. Hmm. This is interesting. He doesn't really have a finisher though. I guess the Hellion, but I'm gonna kill the Hellion. Oh, you know what I should do is a reclaim, for sure. The reveling throne demands portion. Oh, no, that was a bad idea. Or no, I guess, well, both, there's an argument for either, because I can, like, he's going to get the first action here because of the, oh, come on, man, what the fuck. I'm so sick of losing characters to the first death blow chance. That sucks. Yeah, I should have done Reign of Sorrows there, clearly. Cool dodge, bro. Vision. The end approaches. Man. Okay. Another wow. Wasted in the pursuit of glory. Dude, what? God. Well, let's see if I get lucky. Hey, cool. Okay. Give them no quarter. It can happen to anybody. Welcome to the bear pile. MLG Hanzo Nova. Thanks for the tier one sub, buddy. Bear hugs to you. Appreciate it. That is the right move for sure. Nice. Lucky for me. At the very precipice of oblivion. I'll heal for my Vestal. Thanks, pal. Start to stack up the bleeds if I can. I gotta remember he does he does have resistance to that. Uh, I, I should probably try to stun him. That's probably my best bet. He doesn't have heals, and I do though, so maybe we can just outlast him if I play this right. Like if I just heal for whatever damage he deals to me. Hell, I can just judgment. Okay, cool. Never mind. Fuck me. Fuck me right in the butt. That's what I deserve. You gotta keep in mind that's debuffed. Dude, just heal. Fuck it. Fuck it. Keep them off death's door. They don't have any damage over time. Gotta wait to exsanguinate again until that debuff is removed. Pretty sure that'll be better for me. I just gotta really hope that some of these bleeds land. Which is probably not gonna happen.
I may still be able to just do the judgments here, considering. Oh my god. Death waits for the slightest lapse She's just gonna heal off these too, that's funny. Hmm. I can see it already. The script is written where I use an exsanguinate on the highwayman. He dodges, reposts, and insta kills me. So, let's not allow that to happen, I guess. I'm just gonna go ahead and heal him up. Fuck it. That seems fine, man. It would be funny, I guess. That's true. I just gotta assume that this punished bleed is not gonna land. Which is tough. But I think that's still my best play. Even still. Even still, man. As soon as these corpses are gone, I'm gonna have a problem here where I'm only able to group heal. Hmm. Can't do that yet. So let's take advantage of this while I can, I guess. I feel like I've lost. Based on the last few rounds, the way things have proceeded, I feel like I've lost. Stun? Yep. All right. There go the corpses. Yep. Okay. I'm in trouble. There's a mortality debuff when you leave Death's door, yeah. That's still there. convenient. Hmm. Back now. Dude, fuck it. It's the better play, I think. Because that bleed will eventually put me in a position where I can kill him. to stun maybe I, I, I talked about doing that before because the stun will remove the repost if it's successful but if I if I don't get it she dies obviously hmm this is probably the play because this at least affords me the opportunity to kill the highway man with the flagellant next He's going to point blank. Exposed Ow. To a killing blow. Okay. Go for it. Yep. Injury and despondence set the stage for heroism or cowardice. Yeah, a healer can't do anything from this spot, so we're clearly fucked from that. That's another convenient look for us. All right. Hey. Cool. All right. Well, so she'll probably move back next turn, and then he'll get a chance to kill her. But her death blow resistance is still pretty high. That's that's smart. Nice, that's good for us. Okay. And thankfully he doesn't have a way to shuffle my party anymore. 
All right, here it comes. Crossing fingers, RNG's Jesus, come on! Oh, nice! We're in there. We're in there, baby. She's got stun resistance, by the way, so I did build against that. I think I think we win. Yeah, we're pretty much. It's gonna take a while, but I don't know if there's a way he can pull this back. He's doing the right thing. Oh, that might be it if he gets the stun. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Yet again, the stun resistance paves the way to success. Very good. Yeah, he can still kill me. If he gets the stun and then lands the smite death blow, that's... He can still get it. I should probably try to stun him. Yeah, the thing is, I don't know if I can really afford to when he keeps bringing me down to death's door. I think I'd much rather get the get the heal off. I could regen, actually. You know what? That's not a bad idea, is trying to get the regen going. Yeah, I should probably do that. Yeah. In fact, I think that more or less guarantees the win. It's going to take a long-ass time for me to get this kill either way. <laughs> he's just so fucking beefy. He's got the protection trinkets, too. Like, oh, he's just so fucking hard to kill. With the bleed resistance and everything. All right, so he's kind of given up here, yeah. We got a very simple formula for success now. In fact, at this point, I think I start doing this. Yep. And let's just go for, uh... No, I don't even need another regen. I, d I totally don't. We can just punish from here on out. We're good. Oh, resolve check, too. Yeah, we're in the clear. Man, I'm pretty surprised we ended up getting this getting this win. This went pretty well after that uh, not-so-great start. So we're probably not going to stun him again this turn, so we might as well just go for this. He must be livid. Yeah, I'd be a little upset. Actually managed to land a bleed there, too. There he goes. Injury. There he goes. No GG. That's the fair. Is broken. You have won. Oh shoot! Is this a glitch? Uh oh. Does it black screen sometimes? Oh, never mind. We're good. And word travel. Yeah, baby! Novice Tier 1! Crushing it! I'm a god! Top of the novices. Best of the newbies. He's done it. He's done it. That's four wins in a row. Holy shit. That's a bit of a change of pace, huh? Look at this. From the depths to the pinnacle of, subs of success. From 0 and 5 to 4 and 5. So not even actually technically at 500 yet, but still <laughs> quite a bit better. Let's do it. The ringmaster demands a challenger. Oh, crap. Hold on. Thank you. Thank you for the reminder. I got to change a couple things real quick. Do that, and then someone was mentioning they don't really feel like this matters, but well, actually, you know what? You're kind of right. The 10 dodge at death's door is just sort of not really a factor. This isn't that good either. I might even change out all of his skills to just add more bleed chance. Stress dealt versus bleeding targets. Yeah, you know, this, this is a better idea. You're right. You were right. All right. Good stuff. Let's do it. I don't, know, I don't even know if that guy's here anymore, but maybe you'll watch the BOD and be vindicated. I'm ready, man. Let's do it. Currently at a 100% win rate with 1-0. You got to quit now, man. You got to just retire. 
on top. I think that's the only solution. Sally Maguzi. I love that name. Welcome to the circus, Sally. Welcome to the fucking show. A little bit of healing on that team this time. A shield breaker makes a rare appearance. And Bear Taffy goes first. Okay. So we're going to have some trouble blighting this Plague Doctor, of course. Um, does that break through? Doesn't look like the... Uh, yeah, this is kind of like an anti-shuffle team, so we're probably not going to be dealing with a lot of... Um... Oh my god, I didn't realize he has to be in the second slot for that. Whoops. Well, let's do this. This at least enables me to stack on Plague... Uh, or Blight damage to people that are more vulnerable to it right now. Maybe he'll shuffle me around somehow, who knows. I'll just play under the assumption that I forgot to change the skill again. How about that? Then I'll then I'll feel like I'm not suffering as a result. I thought it would be shield and, and impale first. I was kind of expecting that. That blight's not too bad. I got a little bit of blight too for you, buddy. Start stacking that onto the uh, highway man before he activates that repost. It's probably a good idea. This plague doctor's completely screwed already. By the way, that impale was probably not a good idea. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I might do a group heal right now. That's a little greedy. She's got no blight resistance. Oh my god. Hmm. No, let's do this. Again, before his highwayman activates his repost, although unfortunately I didn't actually land it on him. I could still do a group heal here, it'd be pretty good. Yeah, I might just do that. Pretty much just negate everything he did on his turn. But better yet like a stun on the Hellion, and that way I can make the Bounty Hunters move a lot more effective? Oh, he doesn't even have Duel's Advance! I didn't even... I thought you meant that he hadn't activated it yet. Oh my god. That's wild. Oh, she's got... Okay, well, you know what? Fuck it. A momentary Felt like a good idea, and still seems like a good idea, so... Good enough. Yeah, this dude without Duelist Advance is a very interesting decision. Thank you very much. Okay. I have a marked Plague Doctor and no Collect Bounty. God damn it. But I do have a Dazed Hellion, and I should probably... Oh, what am I doing? I should have used him last. Shoot. I'm making some poor choices. I could have gotten a kill on this turn. It would have been it would have been unlikely. Would have been pretty goddamn unlikely. In fact, actually no, I don't know if I could have. I don't think I had the damage. No, probably not. Thank you, Jackal. I was very happy with it. Very pleased with that. Feel safe doing a play grenade again. Nice. Punish plus incision might have gotten you there. The, the base damage on Punish is so low, though. She was at, like, near full health. That would have been... That would have been... Pretty lucky, I think, to get that much out of that. All right. We can go for the Reign of Sorrows again. But these Frontliners are so weak already, I almost feel inclined to keep going for them. I can even go for another stun here. Let's stun the Plague Doctor. Nah, no, let's stun this one. And that, then with that damage over... Okay, let's kill her. Let's kill her next turn for sure. Try to get numbers early. With a punish on that. We'll be able to get that damage. No problem. Okay. It's not too bad. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh. Bring her to one again, though, man. That's a heartbreaker. That's a ton of DOT. That more or less guarantees a battlefield medicine coming from the Plague Doctor onto the Shield Breaker next turn. I don't know what the hell he's going to plan on doing here. Probably just going all in on the damage on somebody. Probably the Vestal, I'd assume. The Plague Doctor, okay. That's, that's real stupid. I can completely negate that. I think I might. I think I might do that. Hmm. Alternatively, I can just go punish. Oh, Exsanguinate. There we go. All right, so both of these two. I'm spreading the damage, but I have a strategy. I promise I think this is going to work. I promise that I think this is going to work. <laughs> I think that by spreading that this way... Did he just pick the shield breaker to go first? I'm sorry, what? Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Okay. Bye. Okay, yeah. <laughs> that was ooh. Oof. A cacophony of bloodthirsty delight. Praise well earned. Fair enough. Jeez. Trinkets and trophies are yours to claim. Another onk of life, how perfect. I was just singing this thing's praises. Alright, well there we go. I made a couple of bad decisions there, man. I didn't feel like that was so one-sided until it was. Alright, five in a row. Let's keep going. The ringmaster demands a challenger. Admittedly, we haven't been fa facing the most difficult of opponents, but I'll take it. I'll take a five-game win streak. Oh, goodness, I forgot again, though. <laughs> God damn it, man. All right. It, it's only going to take six instances of forgetting it for me to finally remember to do it properly, I promise. That's all it's going to take. <laughs> All right, this looks familiar. Another leper build. Heavy blight resistance in the back. He gave him the rancid cure all. All right. I guess we're not going that direction. He can be bled, but that's not actually extremely likely either. Hmm. I think I'm gonna stun. Start with a stun. See how that goes. Maybe try to kill the leper? Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. I just... Oh, my God. I'm dumb. Wow. He's got the fucking... <laughs> okay. Noted. Okay, fair. Just trading bad plays between each other. I think I should still go for the DOT. I'm a little puzzled about how to best approach this. Oh, you know what I definitely need to do is an uppercut. I didn't even think about it. He doesn't have a Holy Lance either. Holy crap. I just beat the piss out of his front line. Just punch him in the face over and over. He's got move resistance on the Leper, but the Crusader can get knocked back all day. He can do the same to you with the leper. Yeah, but that honestly might help me because if he knocks back my bounty hunter, then I'll be able to use his caltrips. Yeah, no one uses Holy Lance, man. It's wild. All right, he did exactly that. Wow. I guess I'll use caltrips. Sure. Fuck it. Crusader resisted. That's expected, though. Plague Doctor's got to move back. Is that a one-time use thing, or can he do... You know, he can do that forever, can't he? 
Yeah. Yeah, you can purge all day. That actually might be uh, enough of an issue for me to fuck me up completely. If he just keeps knocking back the frontliner. That'd be a bad, be a bad situation for me. Let's see, what do I do here? If I have my bounty hunter up front, I try to knock back the leper. Or no, not the, not the leper, I guess, but the... Uh... Oh, here's what I can do. Come hither. Yeah, look at you, chat. You're all so smart. That's probably the way to go. Yep, kind of force the hand there. I need to do a little bit of movement myself, unfortunately. I really don't feel comfortable leaving him there. But I'm probably going to get shuffled up a little bit more here, too. So, what can I do? Let's try this. Oh, shit. Well, no, this might work still to get the... Uh... Are you fucking kidding me? GG. A renewal. Welcome back. Yeah, you're welcome, buddy. Good stuff. Yeah, so that completely fucks me up. Wow. A renewal. Thankfully, he can move forward. Back now. Mr. Bakarian. Thanks for the 33 months on the pile. Appreciate that, friend. Welcome on back in. <laughs> Fun. Yeah, Purge seems pretty good. Kind of feels like he built around it, too, almost. Alright, let's see. Dialatito! Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Always appreciate the bits. I feel like I should try to stun. Oh my god, man. Wow. Does he have dodge? Only at death's door. What the hell is that heal? Completely unnecessary. Hmm. The reveling throne demands its portion. I'm just gonna do this to prevent his purge, hopefully. What can we even do here? I gotta get the bounty hunter back up, but I can't. Without my bounty hunter in play, I am severely crippled. <laughs> I love that, man. Just random Wayne laughter. Heal a little here. I'm gonna heal my whole squad, sure, I guess, but no, this is probably better. I like the diversity in this. This opponent has a plague doctor, so our DOT approach is kind of countered. His purge will be useless against the shuffle comp. Feels like where it might not be a single medic composition. I completely agree. At least in the early stages here, it's been really great not to see just like a single meta that has been established as like just the best team the best team you know early on here we're seeing a whole bunch of variation in the way people are playing and it's awesome i love it i'm super into it god damn man oh that sucks they don't even have dodge buffs they're at five dodge 
ridiculous. Oh, thank you. Oh, wait, no, that's not the shuffle one. I thought it was going to shuffle. No, it would have been if he hadn't resisted it. Fuck. Dude, it would have been so good. <laughs> Damn it. Ah. All right, this still feels like a good idea. I actually still think that's my best play, my best play with the Bounty Hunter, even though I still want to move him forward. Because that really fucks him up. And they still have the Caltrips Bleed, so the longer this goes, the better it is for me. It's going to Mace Bash, okay. That's an interesting call. Let's see. Maybe I can start targeting the healer now. But he might actually deal more damage to the uh, Flagellant and uh, provide us an Exsanguination opportunity. So let's do that. That seems smart. Yeah, I could use the turn with the Vestal to move the Bounty Hunter back in play. That's an option. I do only have to get him into spot three, so... He did indeed get the flagellant down. That's what I was waiting for. He can't actually target the Plague Doctor with anything right now. Disorienting Blast deals no damage. So I think I'm safe to do this. And then we'll see what I want to do next. She's in bad shape. I think it may actually be worth it for me to move her instead of healing here. Because we act first next turn. I can still heal. Oh, okay. Never mind. That changes things. We'll just heal and keep going. Heal in response. That's fine. Lost my 10 win streak. Oh. Enemy first death blow two times and 19 crit repose for two times. Wow. Damn. That hurts. Alright, well, the leper's in the third spot. Wait a minute. What? Did he just move the. What? What did he do? Uh. Alright, I'm gonna do this now. If that's all right, that seems like the time to do that. He just handed me an opportunity. What in the world, dude? Oh my God. I got no justification, but flummoxed indeed. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to blight her. What am I doing? Never mind. I'm a god, apparently. <laughs> okay. Cool. I should still have gone for the Vestal with her, but I just got super greedy there. The incision was definitely the better play. But I'm hoping that the uh, punish from the. Oh, okay, that might be a problem. Yeah, that's a problem. Shit. I could just keep healing, though. I can also stun his leper, which is brutal for him. Oh, never mind. I'm so stupid. I'm incredibly dumb. I've just got... Never mind. I'm a god. I'm the best, darkest dungeon player of all time! <laughs> Incredible. Flummoxed. Highly flummoxed. I'd be screaming a little if I was that guy. That's pretty upsetting, yeah. That shouldn't be happening. Alright, well. Now we know where we gotta prioritize. Holy hell! Oh, that's just... I didn't even need that one. That's just not fair. That's just mean. Jesus Christ. Okay. Well, I can't do it with the Bounty Hunter, but I do feel pretty strongly I should try to get a uh, 
a kill out of this, so we'll go for this one. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. Getting that leper out of spot one really fucked up his entire team, yeah. Like, his cycling of Purge was going to be terrifying, but as soon as we fucked that up for him, uh, we, we got into a pretty good situation. All right. So we can still make this a position where he is unable to bring the Vestal back off of Death's Door. In fact, I think we just did that. No, 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 he's got one more heal. You have returned. Which will probably take now, I guess, to prevent another Death's Door check. Reaper! 16 months on the pile. No, you know, actually, that's not a terrible idea now that I think about it. Because he's still got his... Oh, I should try to stun the Vestal. There we go. Now we get a guaranteed kill. Because he doesn't have the heal on the Crusader, right? Yeah. There we go. He likes moving. Yeah, he's... I don't know, man. That's been... Like three or four moves on his end through this fight, which he's had to move at, at some points, but not all of them. Okay, that's a little concerning. Um, let's see. I more or less have a guaranteed kill, whereas his is a percentage chance. So that's probably the play. Maintain the offensive. In fact, that's almost certainly the play. Just gotta chance it. Not expect a hue from him. Yep. Alright, fair enough. This is no place for the weak or foolhardy. It's kinda bullshit, but whatever. Hmm. Got, I don't have a lot of bleed resistance. I could probably do that. Does clearing the corpse help me? I think this is a good idea. Unless it shuffles them forward. It didn't shuffle them at all. Damn it. I'll, I can't keep forgetting that. Oh my god. The third time in this fight. Ouch. Goodness, I got I didn't get punished. See, that's the problem. I didn't get punished for it last time, so I didn't I didn't retain the information. That was not smart. That was, that was a not smart move yet again. Alright, he can bleed though. If I hit him. Good lord. Hey chill. Okay. If I heal him for 19, he'll still be able to exsanguinate, I think, if I do this. Yeah. Yeah, he'll be just below the threshold, I think. And that's probably better, so I don't have to deal with him on Death's Door twice in a row. If you don't heal... Oh! Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, it crashed. Yep, hard crash. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Well, damn it. Bummer. Reboot. Yeah, the PvP has seen a lot of crashing issues, unfortunately, and a lot of people have been reporting that problem. I'm hoping there's a patch soon. We'll call that a win, right? Yeah. Ruin. That's gone. fair. That's totally reasonable. Calculated W. <laughs> okay. Let's hop back into it. The campaign can wait. For now, carnage calls. Let me give one more... 
I'm gonna give this lineup one more go, and then I think I feel a little, a little spice is probably in order. This might actually even be the last uh, run of the day. So I gotta go eat too. I'm hungry. Quite possible I, uh, quite possible I play again later today though. Oh yeah, moving the bounty hunter is for losers. I'm all about keeping the bounty hunter in the front slot to bait the enemy into moving him back for me. The rabble thrills to this feeling of blood. <laughs> Does that mean you kept your 50% win rate? I don't know what it counts that as. I honestly don't know. It might count that as a loss for both players. Very interesting composition. The advantage is yours. I like it. I see some bellow for sure. Yeah, there it is. So his rampart has got bolster as well. This hellion will be very unhappy if it's not able to stay up front, though. The reveling throne demands portion. Oops. Okay. Oh, no. Ouch. That hurts. What am I going to do? Hmm. Let's start with a uh, bleed stack in the back line. Seems pretty good. Never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know why I thought that would work. Don't know what I was thinking. This guy doesn't have a username, man. That's kind of weird, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Here comes some more dodge, too. All right. A little shit. Oh, Jesus. I don't think it's an AI. I think it's a person. It's a dodge comp, isn't it? Oh my god. It's a fucking dodge comp. He's looking to just make me miss everything. That's hilarious. Yeah, the AI takes their turn instantly, so it wouldn't be AI. Man, that'd be a damn shame if your Hellion got knocked back again, wouldn't it? Oh no, that's a problem. That's oh, that's just infuriating. Jesus. <laughs> oh, that skill is just I don't know, man. It just doesn't seem like it's working very well right now. There we go, dude. Good shit. Starting it off. He doesn't have his battlefield medicine anymore this turn either, so he has to take at least one proc. He's trying to get the achievement for beating someone without dealing any damage other than stress. That's an achievement? Oh, shit. That's cool. He does have the Hellion with the Yappa equipped, so that makes sense. A lot more difficult for her to get that uh, damage out if she's in the fourth spot, though. Yeah, that makes sense. We got a counter to that. Ah, damn. Well, he has 70% stun resist. Shit. Okay. Probably gonna run into a Plague Doctor check soon. It's fine if I stack the Blight on somebody else too. He's already, she's already got enough DOT. Okay, looking pretty good. And if he moves that Hellion up front, he's just putting her in harm's way. It's closer to a Bounty Hunter kill on her. All right, can we potentially cause that to happen earlier than initially planned? I think I go ahead and use her now 
Considering uh, they might stress her out and create some issues with being able to use her properly in the future turns. That is quite a bit of light. He's probably going to have to do a battlefield medicine soon. Sadly for him, he can't actually do that from that spot. Pops the regen there, sure. Let's get some more DOT. Bleeding out the man at arms is fine, too. Do, 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 do. There's one resolve check. Oh, damn, that sucks. I'll tell you what, let's hit him with the cow trips. Fear and frailty finally claim their due. Or maybe I should move him forward. Nah, fuck it, let's do it. Cow trips time. A devastating blow. Hell yeah, dude, that was great. Very good. Antiquarian's looking real grim here. That Hellion's in bad shape, too, and the Man at Arms is taking a ton of DOT. Hmm. I could try to stun her again. Ah, damn. I think it was worth a go. Judgment wouldn't have been too much more damage anyway. You can still get good virtue checks, but you can't get them without A, buffing the virtue chance with a crusader or a different class, or B, using trinkets, because the base level check chance is 0%. All right. So here, I'm pretty certain I just want to try to kill the Hellion. So, first of all, we got to do this. Set up for the incision from the... Oh, no, no, no. Plague Doctor has to act last. Fuck. I forgot. I don't know if I can get the damage then. Shit. It kind of sucks. <laughs> Every time. Oh, my God. Baru got a virtue with no trinkets to boost. Oh, is it 1%? Oh, man. That's crazy. That'd be, that'd be wild to get that. That could be a game changer, man. All right, that's smart. He's wasting turns, though. I still want to keep Bounty Hunter available if I can. But what should I do? I'm not going to stun him. I could stun the Plague Doctor. God damn it, man. Sucks. And now the true test. Hold fast or expire. More vapors. The bleed, I think, is out damaging the heal, so that's good for now. I think I'm gonna pull the antiquarian forward and force a move. That does trigger Death's Door as well. Could have actually gotten the kill with that. That would have been dope. Actually, the Plague Doctor can go for the kill now, too. That is a strange decision. Very greedy. So... Hmm. Let's just do it. There we go. This advantage. Give them no quarter. Don't think too hard. As See, there we go. We're looking good. Terrible vistas of emptiness reveal themselves. And the only option she's got from here is if it bleeds. So she's got to move. She's got to move forward. That knockback on the Hellion immediately screwed him over. Okay, so, if we can stun the man-at-arms here, we'd be good, but I don't think that's actually an option. So what is our best play? Probably to keep bleeding the... Hmm. I, 
guess it's just to try to kill the man at arms. And the DOT is working really well for that. Although he'll probably go with the bat, or yeah, he'll probably take Battlefield Medicine first this turn. So yeah, I think I actually have to target the Plague Doctor next. Or he'll just keep blinding gassing because he's just desperately going for the Stress Plague. Sure, that's an option. All right, so if I incise him, that might actually get us to the point where once that, once this uh, man-at-arms takes his turn, wait, is that gonna be enough? 10, 10, no, that's not quite there. Ah, eh, fuck it. Impressive. Resisted the bleed anyway. Judgment plus that stuff might have been enough if I had actually landed the bleed, so I think that was the right decision no matter what. But now I think what I might actually do is just go for the stun again, and then I can hopefully get a kill on the Hellion. Frustration and fury. More destructive than a hundred cannons. I think that's the right idea. Didn't get it. All right. Still, I still think I'm making the right decisions here. A little bit of restore left. Okay. Yeah, he's, he's just all in on the stress at this point, which I don't really blame him too much. Like, that's kind of just the only thing he's got available left to try to do. So I guess I could just... Ah, damage isn't even worth it. Let's do this. Fucking Christ. Damn it, man. So what do I actually do here? I gotta get rid of this guard. So he's probably gonna do it again, which means... Can we just punish? I don't know. I really wanted to try to get a stun. He's really starting to stack this up now, man. Look at that. 150 on the Plague Dogger is a problem. All checks across the board. Hmm. Yeah, it's still up. I think I punish. I think I punish here. Yeah. Hey, Dark Wolf. Glad to have you back. Resisted the bleed again. God damn it, man. Like, if I can... just get a hit. Get a bleed, really. That'll be better, too. I think I'll have the damage. Oh, my God, man. Uh. There they are. This minus 60% damage, dude. This is crazy. Even the aged oak will fall to the tempest's winds. Right, yeah, this is where his strategy actually starts to work. She's at minus 40% herself. Two to three per hit. Hit chance 6%. Jesus Christ, man. No wonder she's missing everything. Good lord, the heal doesn't even matter. Well, that was lucky. Holy fuck, that was lucky. Wow. Thank you. Please let me go. Please let me take my turn. Goodbye. Oh, man. All right. The stroke of luck. It's an accuracy killing build. Yeah, it's really interesting. Accuracy, he ruins our accuracy and adds dodge to his party with his composition. It's pretty wild. All right, there's a heart attack. A hand's breadth from becoming unwound. That's fine. He's stunned, so that doesn't really matter too much. Uh, let's see. Probably just go ahead and heal her.
I guess it doesn't matter how much I heal her for. Alright. Still just slowly whittling away at this guy. That's all we've got, I suppose. So let's keep doing it. Oh my lord. Ah! 57. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Come here. Come here, you. You don't get to sit back there anymore. Another heart attack. In the days, wow. Teetering on the brink, facing the abyss. All right. <laughs> ah! God damn it. Oh, I think that was an automatic choice. Well, shit, okay. The reveling throne demands its portion. It sure does. It sure fucking does. What am I doing? Well, that's what we gotta do. Oh, that was good. Perched at the very precipice of oblivion. All right, Plague Doctor's got a chance. 79% death blow resistance. Quite unlikely. Oh, fine. No, yeah, never mind. I don't get to take a turn at all. Two past turns out of those resolves. Jesus. Thankfully, he can't actually heal, but he'll probably go for the kill. I was expecting it to die. I really wasn't. Well, I, I guess it is dead. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. Finish him! All right, I think we're gonna be okay. The maniacal cheering swells. Victory is at hand. I think we're gonna be all right. Boom. We did it. That was a cool uh, enemy composition, though. I applaud this mysterious enemy's uh, decision making. It was a unique, a unique uh, fight there. All right, GG. It isn't unique. You're just deciding that for me that it's not unique to me. Okay, sorry, my bad. I didn't. I didn't realize. I didn't understand what was unique to me. Falls, faint hope blossoms. GG. He's done it. As victories mount, so too will resistance. That was a much better day, huh? Wow! Apprentice! A new league. A new crop of craven adversaries. Incredible. Just incredible. He can't be stopped. The rotting trophy, boy. Yeah, he just caught me at the tail end, unfortunately, Lycos. Just wrapping up here. A good solid three hours or so of Butcher Circus fun. Hell of a composition there, huh? That was good stuff. Look at this. Look at the win streak, man. Holy cow. One, two, three, four, five, six. My goodness. My goodness. Feels good. Okay. Well, five, I guess, technically, since the disconnect. 
it doesn't really count, but yeah. I'm going to give myself six anyway, just to feel better. Ego boost. Let us see the lose streak. No. No, you don't get to watch my shame anymore. That's done. It's all about success now. 